Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm doing a book review on The Wicked Sister by Karen Dion. So I'm giving this book four and a half stars. Mm -hmm. This was really good. I really liked it. Never read anything by Karen Dion before, but I did look her up and apparently she has more books. Yay! This was really good. Kind of twisted. Let me read you the synopsis and then we're going to talk about it. Says, she thought she'd buried her past, but what if it's been hunting her this whole time? You have been cut off from society for 15 years, shut away in a mental hospital in self-imposed exile as punishment for the terrible thing you did when you were a child. But what if nothing about your past is as it seems? Hmm. For a decade and a half, Rachel Cunningham has chosen to lock herself away in a psychiatric facility. Tortured by gaps in her memory and, she, and the certainty that she is responsible for her parents' deaths. But when she learns new details about their murders, Rachel returns in a quest for answers to the place where she once felt safest. Her family's sprawling log cabin in the remote forest of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. As Rachel begins to uncover what really happened on the day her parents were murdered, she learns as her mother did years earlier, that home can be a place of unspeakable evil and that the bond she shares with her sister might be the most poisonous of all. Woo! <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, Rachel, like it said, has put herself basically in a um, psychiatric hospital she doesn't start out by putting herself there, but she has stayed there because she's wanted to. <clears throat> that the um, her parents were murdered, and she was found in a ditch, um, half naked, catatonic, and she stayed that way for quite a few years. They put her in the um, psychiatric facility, and she started getting better. But she decided to stay there because she thinks that she killed her parents. Now, as she her stay goes on, she's been there 15 years, she starts having disturbing memories that she starts questioning it. Okay, did I kill them? Huh. So, uh, and what and then also you have her wicked sister um, who is uh, <clears throat> they start telling you the backstory on her, how she is quite evil, <laughs> and it starts telling the story from the mother's point of view when the children were young and the things that the sister would do uh, that made her so evil. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to tell you too much, but needless to say, four and a half stars. It was really good. I really liked it. I read this from the library. Um, it was on the new book list, so I'm pretty sure this is this is pretty new. And it does say on the front right here, uh, by the best-selling author of The Marsh's, Marsh King's Daughter. So she does have more books. Uh-huh. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> this was good. I really liked it. I really liked that... Um, I like books about mental hospitals. What can I say? Um, if they're wrote good. And this one, yeah, it was wrote really well. I really enjoyed it. I liked Rachel's um, character. I liked being in her mind. <clears throat> yeah. It was good. I liked it. Four and a half stars. If you haven't read this, what are you waiting for? You need to read it. It's. I've seen it all over Instagram. Um, all over booktube so yeah it was good it lived up to the hype don't you love when books live up to the hype I do because a lot of times they don't <laughs> but this one did it was really good I'm gonna recommend it four and a half stars that's all I got if you like this video give me a like and hey while you're here how about a subscribe and don't forget to check back for more book videos coming up soon Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.